uh, just to watch everything that's going on. I think it's a great, uh, great club fair, you know. Did you down that? I didn't down the door, but yes, I did. <laughs> The idea of the fair was simply to create uh, a precedent as far as the agricultural life was concerned. I went into German that night. I got third prize. <laughs> Everybody enjoys it. The prizes aren't fantastic, but it's taken part. Then they started announcing the fair. People got a few pints, got drunk, and jollifications came into it. That's enough, yeah. Nothing? Yes. Come on, boys, get your money over. Go on now, now. Oh, I'm off now. Oh, I'm in, I'm in third gear. How are we looking? Let it be known to you that we have granted and by this charter confirmed to our beloved and faithful Thomas, son of Lambert de Moulton, that he and his heirs may hold forever one market at their manor of Egremont in the county of Cumberland, weekly on Wednesdays, and one fair there annually, lasting for three days. On the day before, the day of, and the day after the Nativity of the Blessed Mary, forever. In the 60s, we were on a high. 50s and 60s, I would think we were definitely very high, but in the 70s and 80s, we definitely weaned. We were, attendance was down, and of course, the runners were down, and the gate was down, so, I mean, it, one thing, it was, was after another, and it wasn't until the 90s, shall we say, that we started picking up with a lot of younger members and younger ideas. Most of us are, um born and bred in Eglamont and we've followed the event over the years and we know its potential. Right, my name's Jed, I'm a builder, uh, and this is Les, <laughs> another builder, uh, with two idiots. <laughs> That's entering in the World Bad Oil Race this evening at the Crab Fair. Right. This is what I'm going to wear this evening. Uh, I'll put it on. There you go. And this is my dress. And I'm going as Aunt Sally. And he's well, where's old Gummidge? <laughs> Pity you can't put the right head on. He's, he's thinking head. <laughs> uh, Do you want to be yeah, we'll take we'll take the barrel out. We're going to spray this with the uh, red lion motif. That's it. <laughs> the XR2 of wheelbarrows. Uh, four and a half pints. You've got the super piece. Uh, you've got to stop at every pub and club down the main street of Egremont. The idea is to drink the beer, although a lot of people just uh, sort of like wear it so they can get round the course a lot quicker without falling over. The winners get a crate of beer between them. I don't know if there's any other prizes. I just don't want one for the uh, fanciest dress, that's what I, I don't want. Like, I want, I want the winners. <laughs> We're going to try and go, and go for a win this evening. We're up against a lot of fit lads. <laughs> Red 
We're the only ones, Jed, right, that drunk a full lotto of beer. Yeah. We're the only ones that drink a full lot of beer. No, actually, of course, actually, my new was sick. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I was a little bit ill. We were the winners. Really? Saturday, 16th of September 1995. 7.30am, direction at Grazy Paul in Marketplace. What do I think about the crab fair? Well, obviously I must think th- something about it because I'm, uh, I'm spending a lot of time rebuilding it. Uh, I think personally, it's in West Cumbria we have a lot of events. Um, we have different sports, but uh, to me the one that's got the history and the the old traditions is ours, and if we shouldn't allow it to die, we should be building it. The locals have started to come out of the, the corners again, if you like, because what was happening up till two years ago, the locals were leaving the town on the day, and last year a lot of locals left, and when they found out what we'd done on the day, they realised they'd missed a great event. At 11.15, there's riding the fair. No, that's a lot of horses walking up straight. A chap who I've known all my life was just walking his dogs. And he said that, uh, oh, I'm on the crab fair committee, Janice. And he said, we've just found out that going back to about 1800 or something, they used to ride the boundaries and that it would be nice to revive it. And, and could I help? And uh, he was quite shocked that he thought that people might be interested in sort of doing it. Well, I mean, I used to ride as a kid myself, and, and obviously you don't forget things like that. And I thought, oh, I'm sure that the local children are. And they do, they love it. And in late morning, we have Morris dancers and clog dancers on Main Street. Main event as far as kids is concerned, and that's Parade at Apple Garden. Well, it seems a matter of seconds and all the apples are gone. Robbie. But it's hard work when you're Robbie. trying to lift them out so fast. They're usually about 25 boxes of apples. How many's in the box? I don't know, but it's a hell of a lot. Uh, we managed to get rid of them all anyway. One time it used to be crab boxes to throw. But in days gone by, they threw them at the local parson when he was coming down to church of the morning on crab fair day. It must have been a wonderful sight to see the parson running for his life. A day past 12, that's when sports field events commence. And it's a great day out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cumberland Westland wrestling, you see. That when they said the Vikings came into this part of the England, and it, it, it's only this type of wrestling that's just stayed in this part. It's been carried on throughout the years since they came in, and people's not sure who or when they came in with it. But it's a tradition that's upheld to this day. David Palmer, three and a half years of age, ginger hair, 
wearing spectacles. If anybody sees them, can you bring them to the announcer? His mother's lost them. Special first, so don't disappear. And you're not in any particular order, so they're just... If the lady shouts your name, can you come forward? Coconut. Coconut. Mr. Bevins, I wouldn't bother. The whistle and then the gun. We've got the little three and a half year old boy here who's lost his pens. We've got him in the ring. Where now we've lost his we've lost the pens. You're, you're part of it, good. There is quite a lot of money involved in gambling, yeah, but unfortunately now there isn't the amount of bookies about that there was. The amount of money that's put on can be anything from the likes of me and father with our pound, or two pound if we're really trying, to uh, anything up to a thousand pound. When it comes to the club fair and there, dogs was chowned up, local dogs was chowned up, clipped out, and gone to win this, they couldn't all win, could they? <laughs> This place will be packed. The kids usually sit round here. The judges usually sit on the left-hand side. Uh, then you have the, you know, your evening events, the junior girl, the ladies girl, the clay pipe smoking. The object of the pipe smoking is to smoke a clay pipe as fast as you can. Well, I've won it at least 12 times. I've 12 winning pipes here, but I think I broke one, so I think it must be 13. You know, I smoke the pipe all the time, so it doesn't bother me. There's some of them, some bunny, some bunny lads. <laughs> I just think it's a tradition that should be kept up. And then the World Championship, the last thing at night, which by then, everybody in the, in the hall would be shouting for their particular favourites. Uh, and it's, it's really, it's buzzing, it's, it's really loud. Uh, you just sit in, all the Gurners comp uh, competitors just sit in the, in the, the hall waiting for their turn to come up. And uh, as soon as your name is mentioned, you walk around, up the steps, up on the stage. You usually have committee members here with the braffin. Put the braffin on you, around your, your head. You pull your face to the judges, which is usually on the left-hand side. Then to your centre, where all the kids are sitting around. To your right, back to the centre, back to the judges. Usually takes 20 seconds, 30 seconds. That's the gurney. It's the event of the evening. It's World Gurney Championship. And if you want a good laugh, that's where to go.
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 